Hi, it's Clint from Autodesk. In this quick tip video, we're going to have a look at using the revision tools in the drawings environment. Under the tables, you'll see that there are three options available, revision history, revision markers, and revision clouds. So let's go ahead and add a revision history table. I'm going to place this over here, and we can edit the table by clicking on it, and you'll see all of the available columns that we can select. And I can add in a specific comment. Detail B and C added. And from here, we might do an additional change. So let's quickly make a change to the drawing. Alrighty, now we can look at some of the additional tools. We'll double click on the revision table and we'll add a revision row. So now for revision B, we can type in detail E added. And again, we can specify an approver, etc. So with revision B active, you'll see that our drawing revision is automatically bumped to revision B, which is very handy. And we can now add additional information. So maybe we want to add a revision cloud. Well, we can click through using our revision cloud tool. We can add in our revision cloud. We can also add in revision tags or revision markers. And you'll see that because revision B is my latest revision, tags that come through or the markers that come through are at revision B. If I wanted to place revision A markers, I can do that as well. And one last tip before you go, you can edit the table. And if you expand revision history, you can show just the revision that you want to see. So we can actually hide revision A away. And as I untick that, the revision A will be hidden from the table as will the markers for revision A. There you go. Hope that you enjoy using revision tables, markers, and clouds 